What's going on, you lot? I hope you're all sweet. Um, yeah, man, it's quite ironic because the film that you just saw, I had so many limitations on actually making that piece. Like, I originally wanted to take this idea up to Scotland in a typical travel situation where I'm out traveling on a shoot, on a commercial, and then I have to edit the footage in the evening. I do that all the time when I'm on a shoot. And um, obviously, I was limited by COVID-19 couldn't travel anywhere, so I had to find another means of telling the story that actually had the same kind of impact. And um, yeah, man, thankfully, kind of bypassed that limitation, I guess. Let me know in the comments if you want to see like a full breakdown of that film, because it was pretty interesting to shoot and um, it was super fun. So thanks to Nvidia for actually believing in that little abstract commercial idea that I had. And obviously, thanks to Nvidia and Scan for sponsoring today's video. So let me tell you a little bit about the Razer Blade 15 Advanced 2020 model. This thing is by far the most powerful laptop I've ever used in my life. Now a lot of you already know I've been using the Razer Blade Stealth for like the last 18 months and that thing has literally been everywhere with me. So let me give you a bit of a rundown on why the Razer Blade 15 Advanced model is so beneficial to me and anyone who's pretty much making content. So in this laptop, we have got the NVIDIA RTX 2080 Super Graphics Card. Now hold your horses, it's not all about the GPU in it. It's about how this GPU actually works with editing softwares like Premiere Pro, like DaVinci Resolve, and like Red Cine X Pro. So NVIDIA have invented something called NVIDIA Studio. NVIDIA Studio is where the hardware, like the NVIDIA GPUs, works together with programs, companies like Premiere Pro, like DaVinci Resolve, to actually give us as creators the most efficient workflow when it comes to editing. Any of you guys who use Premiere Pro will know the new update was absolutely unbelievable. Now the whole reason that this update was so good is because we're now actually utilizing all of our hardware. So with this new update, we can actually accelerate compatible GPUs in Premiere Pro and for me, whoa, it's made such a big difference. Recently I've been shooting a lot on 6K RAW out of the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera. Thankfully the B-RAW codec already utilizes a lot of the GPU, which is an absolute bonus. And editing 6K RAW on this timeline, full resolution, it, <laughs> I just can't believe how well it works. This laptop absolutely smokes my desktop in my studio. Like, I'm actually a bit annoyed that I've been editing on that for so long and I thought, yeah, no, this is a sick, this is a sick desktop. Like, I'm, like it edits pretty well. <laughs> Only when you edit on something like this that you're like, whoa, I'm, I'm not even thinking about the edit, I'm just editing. Like. I know that sounds so stupid, but I've never really experienced that before. And the fact that I'm doing it with 6K RAW on a laptop, I mean, that's pretty naughty. Over the years of using like laptops and computers that can edit, but they're not quite like how this laptop edits. I don't think about the editing anymore. I'm just editing, you know, like it's, it's just working. I'm just flowing through. I'm just actually getting down to the creation that I'm here to do. Um, I'm not actually just waiting for renders. I'm not waiting for the bloody timeline to skip. So let's have a bit of a rendering shootout. Let's encode and render out that entire 6K film with all of these effects on the razor blade and then let's do it on my desktop. And as you can see, the razor blade absolutely smokes it it's like what what have i been editing on you know like this is meant to be like my big production pc um oh man so since i've had this laptop i've actually just been tethering this up to my monitor and using this as my main pc and also back at home so i've just got my very first apartment like oh, i'm a homeowner you know a lot of times i don't want to come all the way into my office to just do a little bit of editing sometimes i just want to do a bit of editing at home so this laptop tethered up to my monitor at home, that's actually the same monitor as this one, I've basically got a super fast, super powerful PC at home. Like, this is ideal. Because I had to kind of think, right, do I get another desktop for at home? Or do I just get super powerful laptop that I can actually take on trips that is still an amazingly super fast workstation, but I can also tether it at home for a P it just made more sense. And with this accelerated GPU performance, we can also use 
accelerated effects. Now these accelerated effects, for me, the one I use the most, Lemetri, you lot know, I love a bit of grading. I don't quite use Da Vinci. I'm not, you know, they're memes where like your mind is just like, I'm not quite there yet, but um, you know, I'm trying. I can do some mad grades and still, I don't even need to render out the timeline. Honestly, when I bought the 6K, I didn't think I was gonna be able to edit the footage this nice, like, yeah, man, even when I stack up like 6K, I can stack up like four 6K files and play it at half res. I've still got a 3K image playing back seamlessly. Like, come on, man. The GPU is so efficient on this that even when I render out and export a video, there's still enough room for me to go into Photoshop, make my thumbnails, do a load of different editing on different applications while I'm still rendering out them files like i used to export my videos on my desktop then on my razor blade stealth make my thumbnails because that was taking forever taking up all of my cpu gpu but now i can do it all on one mate and for me personally the best thing is i can do this anywhere like because when i'm on a shoot i love to get my footage in and start editing the night that i've shot it because i've still got kind of the ideas and the shots fresh in my mind i want to get them in the timeline especially if i've done a storyboard if i've done a storyboard i want to start putting that puzzle together that i had in my head that i then wrote down all i have to do is start getting the shots pick them, place them, put them where I need them to go. I literally just edit now. I just edit and I do the creative process. I don't do the, the bloody engineering process. Like I don't want to be a bloody techie. I want to be a creator. I just want to make the images I've got in my head, put them on the timeline, create wherever I am as good as I possibly can because a lot of the times I'm bare inspired late at night. Like If I'm at home, I want to be able to edit on the spot with amazing performance and also when I'm traveling, if I'm out traveling, I've just shot like the maddest footage, I want to get it in, mate, and I want to get going, you know? So yeah, I just feel super lucky that in 2020, we've got products like this that actually allow me to just like, they don't, they just allow me to actually focus on the things that actually matter. Um, so yeah, thanks so much to NVIDIA for sponsoring today's video. Let me know if you want to see a whole breakdown of that film because it was pretty interesting, pretty fun to shoot and I think it would be pretty valuable. And I'll leave all the links in the description for the Razorblade 15 Advanced. Anyway people, thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what your biggest limitations are and let me know what PCs, laptops you're using. I want to know what you're on mate. Let's see what we're all using and um, yeah man, I'll be catching you lot in the next one, mate. Bosh!